Hi there, this is Kristen from Cashmere Goat. And I'm Iris. And we wanted to uh, bring you along on our um, new little vlogcast. Vlogcast, podcast, whatever they're supposed to be called. I'm confused about the podcast thing because I always thought podcasts were just what you listened to, but apparently they can be videos too. So here we are. And we have had a uh, fun couple of months doing knit alongs and we are continuing with our spring knit along. And um, we're excited to share it with you. So we couldn't quite decide between two patterns and we reached out to you all to help us make a final choice. And overwhelmingly, the preference was for, ta -da! And this is the Anchor Summer Shirt by Petite Knit. Yep, and we really like it. And um, I was shown this design by my uh, yarn rep from Knitting Fever. Her name is Whitney. And I was talking about that I wanted to do a summer sh sweater, short sleeve spring summer sweater for our spring knit along and not sure which yarn to which yarn to use not which yarn to use which sweater pattern i had looked last summer for a sweater pattern and i never really found one that i really liked and she showed me this and i was like oh perfect so um and she left me with a lovely skein of yarn which i had in my office and kept looking at and as we decided to, um, well, you all helped us decide to pick this sweater, uh, I remembered this yarn and I pulled it out and kept looking at it and decided that we needed this yarn for this sweater. And I reached out to Whitney and she came the next day and then my yarn, I ordered yarn and half of it came the following day. This is Sonata from Noro Yarns. It's technically a sport. They're calling it a sport yarn. And this pattern is DK, but it works. As you can see, it works perfectly. This yarn is 35% um, <laughs> cotton, 25% viscose, which I believe is from bamboo. 20% uh, silk and 20% polyamide. So it is very soft. And, and I got started with swatching that um, <laughs> sample that Kristen had in her office. And it's just beautiful. I always, I like to try some different needle sizes, but um, I ended up loving this one in the middle. Um, if you're looking at my scraggly, raggly edged um, <laughs> swatch it's because I swatched in the round and I don't yet know how to make my swatches in the round not look absolutely crazy um we yeah. need to give it a little haircut we need to trim it we up it's give it a little real haircut. I don't know there was one part where the extra long just got twisted and I didn't <laughs> notice so I just kept going yeah so and I did a couple swatches too and last summer I wanted to um I wanted to make a sweater out of pride we have a few new colors of Pride. Pride is a linen cotton viscose mix. It's DK. And I I tr tried crocheting with it last summer and as a new crocheter, it just wasn't great for me. So I ended up using something else, but I still knew that I wanted a shirt. I love these materials together. I love the blend. And so I knit up a, a swatch in Pride and I did it in the round two. You can see mine is um, a little neater, oh, but also has mm -hmm. a funny little messy side. So the interesting thing is I did this test where I put it behind my hand when I first knit it and I was kind of disappointed because it seemed so open. And uh, it's real like thin, it's pretty thin. It's and then they're thicker. Yeah. And so it's a little slubby. And I was like, oh, I don't want a beach cover up. I want a shirt. And so then I picked up the Vivo, which is this. Vivo is a self striping uh, yarn. And there's several colors. There's new colors of this. And I, I swatched in the round again with this. It looks messy on the side, but. 
that's my new way of swatching in the round, which I'm gonna share at a later date. So this I liked better because it was filling in a little better. Then I put them both in the washing machine because they're both machine washable, which I also love. Mm -hmm. And this really filled in the yarn fold up more than I expected it to. I wasn't expecting it because I didn't think, you know, a wool, you really expect that to happen, but it really, um, it really changed when I washed it in the washing machine and then I blocked it flat. I, this one also filled in a little. Um, they are both slubby. This one's 100% cotton and the color changes. Um, and sometimes it is subtle. Mm -hmm. It's a subtle color change. And then sometimes it's a little more dramatic. And also with this one, this was again the Viva, the Pride. The Pride, sorry. It, when you, before you washed it, it didn't feel that great. No, um, we were didn't. kind of like, is this going to feel okay next to your skin? Yeah. And this really feels like it's it soft. would be very comfortable, very cool, and nice so to wear. So I may be making my shirt out of this. I still haven't decided because, as one does, you start thinking about all the possibilities. And a yarn rep called me yesterday, Jasmine from Earth Yarns, called me and started talking about cottons. And this is one of their cotton DKs. Oh, I'm trying to remember the name of it. And of course I left my tag somewhere else. Um, but they have two versions of this. It's a DK, 100% cotton, machine washable. It is not slubby. If you don't like a slubby yarn, this stuff is, it. it's very smooth to knit. I really was enjoying knitting this. I started my swatch this morning just seeing, and also because it's cotton, it, the, the ends were a little not slubby mm. and they kind of did a nice neat little twist. I love um, that. <laughs> and so, I used this yarn and I don't think I will make a stripy shirt, but they have the same yarn dyed in a very subtle monochrome ombre. Very, very subtle. And that for me, it, it, that's something that I am really excited about and probably gonna order very soon so that we would have it in the shop soon. Um, I'm really liking how that's gonna knit up so the reason why I chose the stripy one is because the composition of the yarn is the same. Um, so that's those are a couple of our options. Well, the other thing is we wanted to talk a little bit about the construction yes. here. And, um, you know, our first knit along was for the Ramona sweater, and that was a top-down raglan construction. And this is a really great, um, another top-down way of constructing a yoke sweater. This is a round yoke and you can see that it has this really nice detailing of a little bit of a ribbed. Um, so round yoke and so the increases are spread out around the round yeah. as opposed to just in the raglan where it's like doo 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 doo. And then here, and I don't know if you can see it, but there are some raglan increases right at the underarm. And I think, Kristen, you mentioned that Whitney might have added a few she more added, stitches. Actually, 10 stitches on each side um, and that is just for when you're a little bigger around <laughs> in that area it's it, it and it looks fine I tried this sweater on I almost wore it today for this and it fits me perfectly um, she shortened it um, and, and Whitney's a little shorter than I am, so I might make mine a little bit longer, but I actually can get away with this length if I have like high-waisted jeans on. Um, and the sleeves she shortened. If you look at the petite knit sweater, it looks very, very different than this. And it's very fitted. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and you can do this with more ease, or you can do it like she mm -hmm. did it. You can do it with the longer sleeves and um, I liked it because it didn't have eyelets and I really don't want eyelets. I feel like I have to wear a, a camisole underneath and that's too many layers. If you're wearing a, so a spring sweater, you don't, I don't want multiple layers. And I also, from what I have been told, a lot of people have already made this mm -hmm. and this is different because of the rows of ribbing. It suits different shapes mm -hmm. and it kind of conforms to you. So if you have bigger shoulders and you can't normally do a top down one in this style, 
this one actually works much better for that. And it just kind of conforms. If you have smaller shoulders, it also works for that too. Be because of the rows of ribbing, it really changes it, so. And we like to choose things that have the possibility to really look yeah. great on a lot of body types um, and, and shapes. And also just that these little modifications where you can really make it your own without too much fuss. Yes, and she does have, if you don't wanna do Kate DK and you want a lighter weight sweater, she does have the same sweater in a fingering okay. version. And so um, with the Ramona Knit Along, we had three different options and um, people really did choose different options. And speaking of that, speaking of that, we also wanted to tell you that if you would like to participate in this spring knit along and yet you have your own, you were, you found the pattern of your dreams in a, in a summery um, garment or whatever it is you were thinking about, feel free to join us. And you know, you could just be on your own program. A lot of us will be making the anchors, but we like to include as many people as yeah. possible. And, but we also don't like to have harsh rules. We like to include, we like to be inclusive. And so on that note, we will be like, there will be a lot of information about this particular sweater. But as always, we always try to help people with whatever project they're working on. That's kind of our thing here, is helping people be successful. So uh, we're pretty excited to start. Um, and, um, oh, the start date will be? It's mid-April, so I think the kickoff in-store for our in-store meetup will be, I believe it's the 16th. Yeah, it's April 16th. And then I think the Zoom, I might have said it was the kickoff was the 12th. So it's, Okay, it's so I thought the Zoom was prior, mm -hmm. so. Um, and you can join both ways. You can join one way. You can um, join not at all. Right. <laughs> I mean, like you don't have to show up to the meetup. We hope you'll join for the right. knit along. And a, a lot of people have done their knit along at home. Mm -hmm. And and then they come in and show us their sweater. Okay. Um, we had one yesterday, a, a Ramona, completed Ramona that um, I had n never seen and it was beautiful. So we wanted to show you some yarn choices. I've showed you a few you um and um so i showed you the vivo that one um maybe like let's hold it up here because it's yeah. nice contrast so the vivo yep and and uh, our light outs we're using natural light today so it's changing a little which is fun um yes and this I, is the sonata i grabbed a couple of skeins of this gorgeous sonata we are getting more of this probably this week uh, but there's some fantastic uh, brights and neutrals. This is really special. And if I had not sworn that I wasn't going to make some kind of neutral summer shirt, <laughs> um, I would probably use it because it in person, and I don't know if you can see this, but it's, it's like got some gold in it. Yeah, there's some color there's going some really on There's really good there. dynamic movement, but that's so Sonata by Noro. And then, um, so I showed you the pride and this comes in many colors. These are a couple of options and the green was an option, but I wanted to talk a little bit about Leonello and, or I realized last night I was saying that wrong. Lanello, Lanello, Lanello. This is an Italian yarn. It works up in stripes. Um, and this has the same base as pride but it knits up in a long gradient, not actually stripes like a, a well, no, it is stripes, but it's, they're- It's not defined. They're so not super defined. Yeah. Um, and we do have some books uh, that show exactly what this looks like. Um, so, should I grab one of those? I'm gonna grab one of those books so you can see. While Kristen is grabbing that, I will show you another Noro. Um, Kakagori is another option. You get these, what they call dragon eggs of Kakagori. Um, these big round balls. And we've got some really nice like summer springy colors. This is such an interesting blue with little flecks, but. And there's some more of that coming in. Yep, and it's cotton silk, viscose polyamide. Yep. And those are giant balls. I'm not sure how much you'll need. So this is, this is the um, Lanello knit up. And nice. this is the picture that convinced me mm. that I wanted it. 
uh, it, it's, it's beautiful. Um, and you can see how it works up in a subtle color change stripe. Uh, it's just beautiful. So that's Lanello. That's brand new yarn for us. Um, oh, Meraki. Did you want to talk about Meraki? Sure. And we have Meraki, which is a cotton hemp yarn. This is DK weight from Barocco. And uh, we sold lots of this last summer. Um, and it is 71% cotton, 24% hemp, 5% polyester. This has a little bit of a thick and thin and a little bit of tweed to it. So there's a lot of interest in this yarn. And I believe once again, this, I think it is machine washable. Yep, machine wash cold. So this is, this is a great choice also. You can also make this sweater in wool. Mm -hmm. um, Tracy said that's probably what she would do. She really doesn't like knitting with cottons. Mm -hmm. um, Cottons feel different, very different to me than they used to. I used to knit with cottons years ago, and they just feel easier to me than they used to. The, the yarns come a long way, and this stuff that I am working with from Earth Yarns, this was so easy to knit with and pleasant. I'm excited to get um, at least the ombre. I might get a few, a little bit of the the stripey mm -hmm. ones too, because well. Some of us like stripes. Summer and fun. Um, and the round yoke could be kind of really cool with that, Oh, actually. yeah, it could be. And you could do it, the stripey part, just the yoke, mm. and then you could do solid on the totally. bottom. There's a lot of different directions you can go. And everybody always does their own thing, and that's what's been so fun mm -hmm. about the knit-alongs. Like, everybody's Ramona's were very different because of the yarn choices. Mm. Um and we had the one we had yesterday come in was um it was made out of patagonia hand paints oh. and i had never seen a whole sweater oh, made wow. out of that yarn and it made a beautiful pattern mm. and um yeah oh cool yeah it was gorgeous um and then the shifts have been yes she has hers done i do not um she has her second one done too, don't you? I do. Yeah. I'm um, casting off on the, the I-cord bind off. Um, and actually, we should just, we forgot to talk about what we're wearing knitwear-wise at oh, the beginning did. of our podcast, yeah. vlogcast, whatever this is, because we're new. We're new. Um, so this is my shift, and the shift is by Andrea Mowry. Um, I'm, I use two colors of Malabrigo Machida. And then I used one color, this teal kind of color, is um, Nimble Sock by On The Round. And I have my Sophie scarf, which is another petite knit pattern. And I held two yarns together for this. I used the Nuna, which we do have a little bit left in our clearance bin. And sadly, it's a yarn that's going away. Mm -hmm. And I held it double with um, Barocco's Cashmere Dreams, which is sort of like a mohair mm. look of a yarn, but it is cashmere, so it's lovely and soft on my neck. And my sweater is um, Ruska by Jessica McDonald, knit in Lanas, and I made that last year and I, I love it. Um, it's a winner. Definitely <laughs> it's a winner. A winner. Um, so there's lots of mm. options. We're really excited to have you join us. And uh, sh there are other yarn choices. Um, we have, um, we'll put a link at the bottom um, there to a collection on the website. And during the knit along, there will be a discount for the people that are signed up. Uh, so be sh we'll put a link to sign up for the knit along. And once you sign up, you'll get a coupon. So people can start shopping. And the collection is so fun too because it's just sort of nice to see in one page all of the different yarn options that we've been talking about yeah. and the new ones and it's just a really nice easy way to browse and then that discount code will apply to that collection. And I've been thinking about other things that can add in um, because there's always a sport that is flexible mm -hmm. and there and then I was thinking about a light worsted that I feel like mm -hmm. would work also um, and that's Aura by Lang Yarns and that's a fuzzy yarn but it's cotton and it's Ooh. super soft and fun and that would I believe also work just fine because it's kind of a light worsted so I think I'm going to add that to the collection um, and what I want to say about the pattern mm -hmm. one more thing is that it is 
from a different country mm -hmm. and they are measuring yarn by grams and balls and so Iris helpfully made us a sizing chart with amounts of yarn and I already used it twice yesterday. <laughs> uh, I was very happy and printed it out and laminated it. So we have it here at the shop. Yes. It will also be online. And You'll get it when you sign up. You'll yeah. get it in the email. So it's yeah. like right there. So and you can figure out your yardage pretty easily. We wanted to make it easy for you. So, well, I hope you've enjoyed watching us. And um, let us know how we did. And if you've made it all the way to the end, thank Yay. you. And please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribed. And if you really like us, leave a comment. Because... YouTube loves that. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Well, this could become a semi-regular thing. Yes. We'll just have to see how it goes. Um, but in the meantime, we really hope that you'll sign up for the knit along. Yep. And happy knitting. Yeah, happy knitting. Let us know what you think. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.